I think I ended the previous video saying, okay, and there you go to solve problem 64. That was actually 63. Another mistake. All right, now let's look at 64 here on page W. It's almost lunchtime. I think my stomach is telling me I need to hurry up and go to lunch. All right. Previous problems, we did normality. That was the number of equivalents divided by the number of um, liters of solution. That's normality. Concentration is abbreviated with these square brackets, okay? And then there's usually a decimal number, and then that's given in molarity, okay? So this is how many moles per liter. So H3O, it's telling us for this particular problem, number 64, <clears throat> that the concentration is 0 .00001 molarity. Now the first step in doing these types of problems is we always want to write this in scientific notation. So this would be 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, you move the decimal here behind the 1 and that's why it's to the negative fifth. We moved it five places. So this is the concentration and it tells us, you know, what's the concentration it says of a uh, 0 0.001 molar aqueous solution of HCl. Okay, so that's the acid. So that's why we're looking at the H3O, that's the acid. But then it also wants us to figure out, well, what would be the concentration of the base? <clears throat> and so in water, the KW value, the constant, always is 14, okay? So if the concentration of the acid is negative five, <clears throat> what we're asking is, what would be this exponent? So that when we add these two exponents together, we would get this number, because we're, we're multiplying these two concentrations together to get this concentration, okay? And when you multiply exponents, multiply um, exponential quantities here, you add the exponents. So, negative 14, and then if we get rid of the negative 5, pull out the negative 5, that means we would have to have negative 9, because negative 9 plus negative 5 is negative 14. Okay? <clears throat> if this had been, you know, if there had been another 0 in here, then this would be negative 6. And then the concentration of the OH would be negative 8, because these two have to always add up to negative 14. Okay? The pace went through a long, kind of confusing explanation of all of that, and talking about concentration, and maybe some of that you kind of recall from previous paces, but some of that may, be, may have been kind of new and overwhelming. Um, but the bottom line is, <clears throat> we just got to know that these two have to add up to always negative 14 because we're talking about the constant and we're talking about dissolving these in water okay so um, hopefully that helps you with number 64